Welcome to the Metadata Content Extraction tutorial. In .CMS 2.0, whenever a new file is uploaded, we automatically extract its metadata and we save it in the content. Here is a new file that I just uploaded. I'm going to double click on it so you can see the metadata that we extracted. We have this new tab here called Metadata and you'll see here we have the file size, creation date, last modified, created, uh, producer, content type, and creator. All of these fields are extracted from the document, so this creation date is the actual file's creation date in the file system and not in .CMS. Um, what we can also do, which is really important, is that you can now search within the document's content. How we do that? If I go into content again, you'll see now that where we have the metadata now is a searchable field. So we can use each of the, the fields that we have in the metadata and search for them. So one of them would be, for instance, the uh, document type. So that's called content type in metadata. And let's say I want to find the images. I just click image JPEG and I search and it shows me that. Or I could get all of the PDF files by doing that. So that's allowing me to search within the metadata. What's even better is that now I can search the content. So I have these two files open here. The services and support file is here. You can see this is a PDF and I get here, this is a paragraph that says get direct access to our .CMS engineers. So if I wanted to search for direct access, I'm searching here for content direct access and it's returning the file. What this is doing is it's searching inside the content for that document. This is another feature that allows you to create a document management system in .CMS very easily. If you click here and show query, you'll see how now this is here as part of our query. So that's all you're doing. We're just adding additional conditions to our query in Lucene for the search. For more helpful videos, visit our resources section on the .CMS website. From all of us at .CMS, thanks for watching.